Okay, here I am at uh, Booter Park, and uh, you can see in the background my old uh, car, 1938, and I met, uh, what, what's your name? Frank, Frank Martin. Frank here, and uh, he's got a, he was born in 1938. Right, true. <laughs> and uh, why don't you tell us about your plane? This is, an, uh, this, is a, this is a copy, in other words, it's built off the original plans, 1940, what they call a new ruler. The original one flew with a with a Olsen 60 ignition engine had spark plug, the coil, and the whole nine yards. Right now we've got a four stroke on it. I don't feel like firing up one of them old time engines, even though I got some. But it's a, you take them up, they used to just fly them. They used to, they didn't have no radios. They just fired the engine up and they just launched them. And they had a timer on it, and shut the engine off, and they would just glide around up there until they come back, you know. But uh, it's, a, it's light, it weighs about three pounds three and a half pounds. It's all built out of balsa wood, covered with silk and dope. And uh, that's about much to say about it. I mean, a whole lot to say. Just, wow. So wh why does one get into uh, this uh, hobby of, of, of flying these planes? Because I've been started out with them when I was about 10 years old, building rubber band models. And it's just been a, it's been a thing for me for years and years and years, model airplanes. And the years over when I was in Japan in the service, I got into radio control and uh, been hooked on it ever since. Back then, the systems weren't reliable like they are now. Uh, now, radio systems are so good that you don't ever, you never really think about anything happening to the radios. Huh. Airplanes just fly so well. So this is a simple flight. It's only got rudder and elevator and uh, engine control. You don't need anything else because you're not going to do any rolls or aerobatics with it, you can take this airplane, all this airplane, the way it's flown is just take it up, climb it as fast and as high as you can get it, shut the engine off when it gets up there, and hunt for thermals, and ride on the air currents. That's, what, that's the way it's designed to fly, it's one of the and it will float. You can keep it up there, if you ever find, it, just like a hawk, if you can find the current, you can stay up there as long as you've got the radios, as long as you've got battery power. It's fun to fly. It's a different type of flying than what you see flying around there, you know. So, huh. Yeah. It's, uh, well, thank you for uh, showing me uh, your plane. You say you've been doing it since you were very young, so I've that was very surprising. Oh my gosh, I've been building them model airplanes ever since. We all have. This man has too. A lot of the old timers down here have been building these things for a long time. You need to probably come down on a Tuesday morning, come over on that end of the field over there, and you'll really see some elderly gentleman flying some rubber band models where they wind them up in rubber bands. Is that the group I see over at Burger King sometimes? Mm -hmm. That's us. <laughs> okay. It's called the Thermal Ears. It's well, one of the oldest I didn't know you had a name. It's the oldest model airplane club in St. Louis. It was organized back in 1928. Huh. And it was, they flew model airplanes back then and it's been around that long. You know, and, uh, so you come out here every week? Mm -hmm. As yeah. long as the weather's good. As long as the weather's good. <laughs> even, if, even if it's a little chilly and that, we don't care. We come out here and fly them. That's, we get up there and we're all about the same age, you know, I'm, so we have a good time. Well, I notice on the days where the, the wind is comes up, I don't see too many out here, no, so I guess... Don't. These airplanes are not good in the wind. They, are, they're not, they don't love the wind at all. Well, they're light for one thing. They're very light and it doesn't take much for them to be, you know. Now, it's a beautiful plane. Yeah. I just... well, Frank, thank you for taking the time to sh show me your plane and let me film uh, the plane and talk to you a little bit. I appreciate it very much. It's okay. I enjoyed it. Okay. Come down and see us anytime. <laughs> Get you some balsa wood. Get okay. you some plans. Start building. <laughs> we'll see. It looks like I got enough of a, a problem on my hand taking care of this car. So I don't know if I want <laughs> I so. to take yeah. on another hobby. But anyway. Yeah. No, that's All true. right. Yeah. Well, come down and watch us. Come on over. Come down on Tuesday morning when it's a nice day over there in the corner. They may be in that corner or they may be down there. And they have, we have a good time. I mean, we shoot these shoot them up type and rubber band model stuff and we lose some of them and some of them fly away on us and, <laughs> you know you only go I look at this way you only go around this globe one time if you don't enjoy your every day that you get up and enjoy it what's the sense of living you know <laughs>